Hello, Nick. In your video today, we're gonna take a look at the Asui Cap, which is gonna be available tomorrow in Pokemon Go for the first time. But actually, it's basically the same that we already had before, which was the Sinnoh Cup, which was available, I think, half a year ago, around about that. So, like, the teams will not really change from this, and I'm gonna take a look at the meta real quick, but also I have, like, five teams that you can use in the upcoming cup. So, let's dive right into it. Let's take a deeper look into the meta real quick. We see Lucario on one, which are gonna be the best answer for a lot of the steel types around. And also like for a lot of the ice types that are around, as well as also the poison types which are around. So this Pokemon kind of has like the best typing in this kind of meta. As you can see, there's like Drapion in rank 5, you have like a Vamos Node like rank 4, you have like the Bastion in rank 2, which are all really, really good picks. And there are stuff against like Cressai, even though you are weak to it, you still have the Shadow Ball for it. So there's a lot of Pokemon, if you just look through here, which are weak to fighting, which going to be one of the main typings that you really want to have. Um, other than the uh, the Sinoka prior, of course the Asuian versions are now in the game, which are not really putting that much of a difference here. Like the best one, as you can see, is the Electrode at rank 11. Um, we will see how good the, uh, in general, the uh, electric type is going to be. Going to be curious. I think Electrode has also some potential. We have to see. Maybe I'm going to make a, vi a video about this Pokemon on my channel. I didn't put a team with this. In general, I don't have any Hisuian Pokemon in the teams because we have to still see how actually how good they are. But you're going to see videos on those Pokemon on my channel anyway. So subscribe if you haven't. But let's take a look at all the Hisuian Pokemon that are new here. Hisuian. Hisuian. Um, Electrode is an Electrode. Hisuian Quillfish. The Sneasel. Um, Growlithe, not really good. Growlithe is better than Arcanine, that's kind of a statement to be honest. And Brariari on the bottom, completely horrible. Quillfish, also pretty decent, I guess, but it's basically the same as the uh, Drapion already, which is just better. Sneasel is basically a worse version of the Toxic Rock, so also not really that good. Then you have stuff like the Overquill, which gonna be 23, which is even, I think, lower than the Quillfish there, so it's also not gonna be the craziest, but also, again, the same as before. But of course, now you have Poison Jab, maybe that's like a little bit different, but also not really the best. And you also have the Sneasler, which going to be able to be at like rank 27, actually, with the Poison Jab instead of the uh, Shadow Claw. Oh, they didn't put in Shadow Claw yet. I'm pretty sure that Sneasler still has Shadow Claw though, so I think that is a mistake by PV Poke as far as I can see. Pretty sure it still has it, but we have to see. Maybe I forgot something. But yeah, this is gonna be it for the meta real quick, and let's drive right into the teams. The first team here for the Hisui Cup, or more like the Sino Cup, to be honest. We have the Drifloom in the lead. We have like either the Emporion or the Munchtex as a sales swap. While we have our fighting types in the back. Pretty simple team, I think. Now with like the Hisuian Pokemon in there, which are not really the best, but like for example, the Hisuian Electrode gonna be at least somewhat good. Um, you might want to opt to go for the Munchlax Say Swap instead of the Emporion, so you don't have a double weakness to the Electric types. In general, it might be a little bit better also for like stuff like Pachirisu, which is gonna be available. And yeah, general thinking here, Lead kinda doesn't want to face stuff like Bastion. Say Swap can do something against Bastion, like Munchlax has Bulldoze. The Emporion has, of course, Waterfall in the Hydro Cannon. And then you have the best basic the answer there for those Pokemon in the back with the Toxic Croak or the Lucario. Lucario. Lucario in general is going to be really cool in this cup again. Pretty looking forward to this kind of team as well and it's definitely going to be one of the best. The first team might be a little bit weird on the first hands because you see here the Togekiss in the lead, the Charm user, and then you see a double dark poison line in the back there with the Drapion and the Skunk Tang. But this team kind of has a twist because you think here right now, okay, this team really looks weak, weak to Bastion and you're most likely right with this as well. But you were not running this team like you might think you would run this team the last time this cup was around. And at the end of the cup, this was one of the best teams that you can use. And I use this team a lot actually as well, just because it was so toxic and so fast. Because you are not running Poison Jab on those Pokemon in the back, or also not Poison Sting on the Drapion. You're running Bite on both of them. Also, you're running definitely the Aqua Tail on the Drapion and most likely as well the Falsting on the Drapion, which basically gets next to no counter in this meta. Like, I don't think there's, other than like fighting types, fighting types are a little bit of a problem, but other than this, there's not really an counter for the Drapion with Bite 
and it's kind of insane. Like this team went really through everything just while doing like bite damage and the charm damage and whatever. And I don't know how this even worked, but last time around this team was so good. So I kind of had to include it here as well, as well because there were so many double ghost lines that uh, you were just able to completely go through those. The next team gonna be one of the bulkiest that you can play here with the Cresselia in the lead. There's not really a better option. You can also run the um, Drift Bloom again in the lead, to be honest. Important is the sail swap, and we have the Bastion in the back. This is basically a hard counter team towards the team that I just showed before. There's not a lot that the other Pokemon would be able to do here just because there's a double steel team here. And yeah, this team definitely going to be very, very important and good to play here in general as it's it's just so good. Like, it's just bulk, it's just fast move pressure on the back end there. It's 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 just an annoying team that you're going to see a lot of times. Yeah, the fighting coverage, like the fighting fighting answer in the lead there with the Cressay, of course. And then you can just swap into your Emporion, which going to bait out whatever like the fighter most likely you have drill pack for this you have still the fast move pressure you're also gonna get out at the gastrodon which is gonna be a very de decent pokemon to play in this meta and then you can basically sweep end game with bastion as an xl pokemon which basically wins every match up where it's not in a type disadvantage which is i mean sometimes it happens just because the typing is not the best for bastion to be honest but yeah, like this team definitely gonna be very annoying to play and play against. The next team would pretty hard lose to the team that you just showcased, but it's still very, very nice against nearly everything else. And we have Gastron in here, which is one of the coolest Pokemon that you can run in general right now for the Hisuian Cup, even though it's more like the Sinnoh Cup. As this Pokemon gonna be able to be Bastion, the Emporion, but also all the fighting type Pokemon, which gonna be really amazing for the Abomasnow in the back, as like, it's basically the best support Pokemon for this kind of Pokemon there. While the Obama's not gonna be able to destroy the Pokemon that you don't really want to face with the Gastrodon. For example, the other grass types, for example, flying types, all of those basically this core can basically break there. And then you have like something that's just good as a safe swap here, which is gonna be the Frosters, which can deal with Drift Bloom as well, which can deal with nearly everything. It's kind of neutral against nearly everything in the meta, other than basically the um, Bastion and Bastion would be a little bit tricky, but of course, then you don't have to deal with this thing then in the back for the Obama Snow. So it definitely does make a lot of sense this team, and I think this team still gonna have a lot of play. The final team here, we're gonna have the Bastion in the lead or the Emporion in the lead with the closure of Drift Bloom and the Seiswap of the Frostless, a double ghost team. Basically, you kind of want to use the Bastion in the lead, to be honest. I think Emporion would be a little bit weak to, like, too much weak to Electric. You're gonna face some Pachirisus and you kind of need some answers for this. So, like, I think that the Bastion gonna be a little bit better of a fit. Seiswap again, the Frostless, one of the best Seiswap in the current meta there. And the closer of the Drift Bloom doesn't have to deal with anything, like, I don't know, Dark types are not really a thing, to be honest, but, like, in general, like, nothing that really hard counters it. If you have the Frost as a safe swap that can basically get this thing out, you have the answer for Gastron and Fighting types then in the back with the Drift Bloom, while you have like a weak thing with this in the lead with the um, Bastion and the Emporion there, like they usually weak to the Gastron and the Fighters. And this team looks kind of balanced, to be honest. Of course, there's nothing here with like Hisuian Pokemon because I think they're all kind of a little bit awkward. We're gonna take a look at those on my channel though. So like as soon as we're gonna get them, I'm gonna try to get all of them. Also, I'm gonna try to get the uh, the Sneasla and the Arcanine for Great League, which have to get like a new account where you have to hatch, hatch like eggs at like level one or whatever and then trade them over, only way to get them. But we have to take a look if we can get this, we will see. But this gonna be for the video. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.